Uh, greetings, everyone. Greetings, everyone. It's Mr. Shajal here. Welcome to Back to Basics, right? Now, what we are doing now, basically, we are looking at our 2D shapes, basically, which is going to be the application of our trigonometry for grade uh, 10, right? Now, this is going to be our... Uh, this is going to be our September paper. This is from the KZN province. And this is uh, was written in the year 2023, right? So this was give, uh, was written uh, the previous year, uh, this time around. I would get. Now, let's see in terms of what is it that we can do now in order to answer this question. Now, the first question, it states that now the statement in the diagram below, your CPM and also your APC, are the right angled triangles right now you are having your angle b which is 90 degrees you are having your bcm which is 21 degrees and you are also having your bc which is going to be 12 uh 12 what 12 uh units and also you're having your m which is going to be the third point on what uh of uh your ab or to get or rather the midpoint now, what is the first question that they require us to do? They want us to find out what is going to be the size of your AMC, right? Your AMC, uh, basically, they want us to find out what is going to be this angle in here. Oh, to get. Now, I want you to have an understanding of this. Now, uh, if you can, you know, take and draw this triangle probably like this, right? You draw this triangle like this, where this one is going to be this. Right, where well, this one is going to come back here. Let me just rewrite this very nicely. Right, where well, this is going to come back here, and where well, all of this is going to be here. And now the other one is starting from here till here. Right, now I want you to have an understanding that the M is here. Now, can you see that the M is actually the exterior angle of your triangle B A M B C? Can you see that? Right. So which means now, what is the first thing that you're going to do now from here? So which means you're going to say, look, my angle AM, my angle AMC, right? My angle AMC, this angle AMC is going to be the same as your, uh, is going to be the same as my angle B uh, plus uh, uh, my angle uh, MCB, right? Or BCM. Uh, my angle BCM, which is basically this particular angle, right? Because this is an exterior angle of your what? Of your triangle. And remember that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles, right? So which means your AMC uh, is going to be same as 90 degrees plus. Now this is same as your 21 degrees. Oh, it's okay. And then now what is going to be this one from here? So this one is going to be same as uh, your 111 degrees. This is 111 degrees, right? So this is going to be same as your 111 degrees, which is going to be this particular angle here, 111 degrees. Now, let's see in terms of what else then now are you going to do now? 4.1.2. Now, we are looking for the length of MB. We are looking for the length of MB. So we are looking basically for this particular length your length of MB. So now what is the best thing that you can do whenever we are looking for the length of MB? Now here we are going to apply our trigonometrical ratios, right? Now, which trigonometrical ratio can we apply here? Now, for an example, starting from this angle that we have, which is the 21 degrees, right? Your MB is uh, the opposite side of it, right? And you are also having this side here, which is your BC, which is the adjacent side of it, right? So which means now the best trigonometrical ratio that we can use here, you can use your tan, right? You can use our tan of 21 degrees, which is going to be, remember tan, it's tower, right? Which is opposite over adjacent. Now the opposite side is our MB. And uh, our adjacent side is our BC. So which means this is going to be, what is your MB? Now this is going to be your MB over your BC, which is 12. This is tan of 21 degrees. Now uh, from here, what is it that you're going to do now from here? Which means your MB is going to be same as 12 uh, tan of 21 degrees, right? 
now. So which means now when you plug this in your calculator, what is the answer that you're going to get from here? So which means this is going to be same as 4,61. This is 4,61 uh, units. Remember, you are not given whether this is centimeters, kilometers or whatsoever. So you're going to write this as units. How to get? Hopefully now all of this makes sense now and you can, you know, get a clear picture of what uh, or rather of how to solve this question. Now let's look at your 4.1.3. Now, your 4.1.3 require you to do this, right? So now we have this, and this is given by what? Uh, by 4,61, right? Now, so they want us to find out what is going to be our AB. Now, and to find out our AB, I want us to have an understanding that, can you look at your AB? Can you see that your AB is given by AM plus your MB, right? And now, if you can look at this, your AM and also your, a, uh, your AP, can you see that there is a mathematical representation that shows us that these two particular sides are equal? Okay. So if these two particular sides are equal, so which means this is also same as 4,61, right? So if this is 4,61 and 4,61, so which means this is same as 4,61 plus 4,61. And now what is going to be uh the uh the thing for that now, which means this is same as uh nine comma two two. This is same as nine comma two two units. Oh it's okay. So this is going to be nine comma two two units, right? So this is how basically we go about when solving this type of question, right? Now let's look at uh, our four point uh no what our four point one point four now, right? Now, and see in terms of what is it that you are going to do from there. Now, they want us here to find out what is going to be your size of your ACM, your size of your ACM, your ACM. Uh, so basically, they want us to find out what is going to be this angle here, right? Now, and I am saying the best way of finding out uh, your ACM is basically uh, now starting from here, right? Uh, ACM. Let me let me just you know start from here. Let me just erase here so that you can be in a position to understand that, right? Now, if now we can look at this, your ACM is this one, right? Your ACM is this one, right? But now, can you see that if we can start by calculating this entire angle, and we already have the twenty-one degrees here, we can find out what is going to be the angle here, right? So, which means the best way that we can do now, we can say, look. We have this side. We also have this side, right? Now, so we can uh, actually find out what is going to be this entire angle, right? And what is the best thing that you can use here? We can use our tan, right? Because that's an, that's an opposite. So if we can actually say tan of your angle C, which means it's this entire angle, tan of your angle C, this is going to be same as what? The opposite side, it's same as 9, uh, comma 2, 2 divide by uh, it's taller so the adjacent side it's 12 right so which means now your angle c is going to be same as tan of your 9 comma 2 2 over 12 right and then now the c what is it that you are going to do from c right uh now what is it that you are going to do now uh for your angle c this is going to be same as 37 so this is 37 comma uh, 5, 4 degrees, 37,54 degrees, right? And now that you are saying this is 37,54 degrees, now we can actually find out what is your angle ACM, your angle ACM, right? So your angle ACM is going to be same as what now? This is 37,57 degrees, subtract your 21 degrees. Now you can have what is that angle, right? And now, which means that particular angle is going to be 16,5, uh, what this is going to be 16,53 uh, degrees, right? So this is going to be uh, 16,53 degrees. Oh, it's okay. So basically, the angle here is 16,53 degrees. Now, let's look at now your 4.1.5, right? Now, your 4.1.5, what is it that you are going to have? Now, in your 4.1.5, you are looking for your AC, right? 
uh, in your 4.1.5, basically you are looking for uh, the site of your AC. Now, what is it that you can do to find out the AC? Now, luckily, there are a lot of things that you can do now from here, right? Because we already know that, you know, uh, here, this is your right angle to triangle, your ABC. Your, if you are looking at triangle ABC, can you see that this is your right angle to triangle, right? ABC is your right angle to triangle. So, which means now, if you are looking for your AC, then you are going to use your theorem of Pythagoras, right? Because your AC squared is equal to your AB squared plus your BC squared. Are we together? And now, what does this mean, basically, now from here? So, which means now your AB, your AB is going to be same as what? Your AB is same as your, uh, your 9,22. This is same as 9,22 squared. Plus, what is going to be your BC squared? Your BC is going to be 12 squared. Out again. And now from here, uh, when you are adding this, remember here it's what? It's 9. Uh, remember, this was also AC squared, right? Uh, AC squared. So when you uh, plug in your calculator and say 9,22 squared uh, plus this is going to be, uh, remember, 12, uh, 12 squared is same as 144. Then now you're looking for the square root of your answer. This is same as your 15,13, right? So which means your AC is actually going to be 15,13 units, right? So which means this length here is going to be 15,13, uh, right? So that's going to be the length of your AC. Oh, it's okay. Uh, now, hopefully, now all of this is making sense and you can actually know, you know, attempt all these application questions that you are going to get when it comes to trigonometry, right? Uh, thank you very much.